Shalom, you guys. So I told you last week that this week I'll be teaching you how to make this origami fold memory game for the Ten Commandments. Um, and I'm not sure if you guys remember this from when you were going to school. I remember we used to play this when I was going to school. And I used to have a little song, but I don't know what the song is. So for me, I made it my own song with the kids, which is pick a number one through 10, pick a number now and then. And then whatever it ends on. So we've got 10, seven, six, and three. I think that's three, yeah, three. So then I'd say, okay, you guys, what is, um, you know, commandment number 10? And they would guess. And then it says, I'd open it up and it says, thou shalt not covet. And if they got it right, cool. They didn't get it right, whatever, you know. So um, you could have reward systems, or point systems, you know, play again. If you have multiple children, you can play a game with them. Anyways, so this is what I'm going to show you how to make today. Um, so anyway, so I will, after I'm done, I will put the link up again. For you to be able to print this um, today all you're going to need is a pair of scissors and two hands to fold and cut um, if you want them to it comes colored so this is printed off the excuse me off the website just the way it is um, but you can have them if you want or if they want to they can color in all these um, triangles if they if they so choose to I'm not going to and I didn't have my children do it as well so anyway, so essentially we're going to cut this and then we're going to start folding, which you guys get to see my cut with my handy dandy children's scissors. Uh, when you're cutting it, try to stay as close to the line as possible. When you print it, it's going to print on a whole sheet of paper. Don't stretch the image to try and make the image fit the whole paper. The image does not need to fit the whole paper. It needs to start off as a square. So if you had a regular piece of origami paper or a regular piece of printer paper, you would start off, you would fold it and cut it so that you ended up with a square as well. So also in between playing with this game and playing with our 10 commandments cell phone, we discovered a snafu because there was a discrepancy between the numbers on here and the numbers on the Ten Commandments cell phone video that I did last week. So on the Ten Commandments cell phone, they split up, um, don't cover thy neighbor's wife, and then for ten they made don't cover thy neighbor, don't covet thy neighbor's stuff. So what they skipped, because the first three commandments are kind of split in between two, it's like two commandments within one, which is you know, thou shalt have one God, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain, or I tell my kids, respect the Almighty's name. And the third one is, um, don't have any idols. So they skipped that one. So in the Ten Commandments um, phone, uh, it makes it so that, you know, after two, they are no longer in correct order. So anyway, so I've cut all my sides, and this is what you end up with, a square sheet of paper. Blank on one side, uh, numbers on the other. We're going to start off with folding our paper in half. We're going to fold it into a triangle. Fold it forward. Uh, when you're doing this, make sure, can you see? Make sure that you're lining your lines, your corners, and your edges of your papers up. So I've got my first triangle. Shalom to everybody that's tuning in. Open it back up. Now you're gonna fold it into a triangle the opposite direction, just like this. So I've got my first triangle going like this. Now I'm going to fold my second tri triangle going like this. If you're tuning in, we are making, uh, Nista said that they're called cootie catchers, but, or fortune tellers, but it's an origami game. Um, once again, line your edges up. Crease your edges, open it back up. Then what we're gonna do is we're going to start folding all of our, we've got a center fold line. We're gonna start folding all our pieces into the center fold line. Okay. 
and making sure that they're meeting at the middle. So now I've got, a, I've got like a diamond shape. And you just keep going around, folding all your pieces until you're gonna end up with a square once If you're just tuning in, I will share the link to print this at the end. I'll put it back, I'll put it up on the video. So now we've got a square that looks like this. Now again, you're going to fold, numbers are gonna be on the outside, the big numbers, I'm sorry, are gonna be on the outside. And your little numbers are going to be on the top. And we're gonna start with the little numbers on top and we're gonna fold again into the center line. So it should look like that. And you're just gonna go around once again, you're gonna fold everything into the center line, back to our diamond shape, and fold everything into the center line until you end up with another square. Pretty much done. From here, you're just going to fold it in half. Doesn't matter what direction, it just folds easier this way. And fold it in half again. So you end up with another little square. And open it back up. This is where you're going to stick your fingers at. So you can pull your little flaps back. Fold it into itself, and then stick your fingers in there. Although my fingers don't seem to want to go. There we go. Maybe I should fold it this way. Seem to have some issues. Okay, there we go. So pick a number one through 10, pick a number now and then. What number do you guys pick? I'll give you guys these numbers because you guys got those numbers before. So you've got commandment number eight, commandment number nine, commandment, no, commandment number five, and commandment number four. Which number do you guys pick? Isaac, what number do you want? And you have to tell me what, what the commandment is as, well, is as well. Nine, eight, five, and four. taking too long. So let's pick commandment number four. What's commandment number four, guys? Remember the Sabbath and keep it holy. Anywho, I hope this was easy enough and that you'll be able to print it with your kids and utilize it to just play with them and or help them to remember their Ten Commandments. So you guys have a great rest of the Shabbat. I love you to y'all and back. Ciao.